And during the, far, the years at Rhodes, uh, we had always open the farm to young folks, priests and nuns, so they could have church activities out there or go hunting or, or have hikes or recreation. One Memorial Weekend, Father Swartz brought out some high school boys and they were camping in the timber. One of the boys, guy by the name of Bob Blazek, was in a diving contest a few days prior to this and broke his eardrum. He wanted to spend the weekend with his good friend Don Jacobson and the rest of the guys. He asked the doctor if he could do this. First, the doctor forbid. Uh, when he learned it would be Bob's last time his with his friends as he was moving, he said he could go, but cautioned him to be very careful and told him it wasn't possible to take an eardrum out, operate on it, and put it back again. Bob knew it was probably going to be impossible to sing play his guitar again the only one ear with only one eardrum. Bob was an excellent singer and guitarist. While they were in the tent that night, Father Source got a message from the Lord to pray for Bob here. He went over and shook Bob's sleeping bag and told him he was getting a message to pray for his ear. He said that was okay and he went back to sleep. Father prayed for him a while and then went back to sleep again. As Bob left the next day, he told Father his ear felt a lot better and Father made some joking remark about it. Bob and his family moved to Minnesota and didn't return for several months. When he came back to Marshalltown, he went to the doctor again. The doctor looked at his ears and then asked Bob, what ear was that it was hurt? Bob told him which ear had the broken eardrum and he looked at it and then looked at the floor for quite a while. He said, I wouldn't have believed this if I hadn't seen it happen, but your eardrum is all right. Later, Bob continued singing, composed a song, and made a record, and was director of the Jesus Singers for a number of years.